Before we begin tonight's XFL coverage, we want to thank those who have tuned into these broadcasts over the past few weeks. Tonight is the final week of the XFL regular season. We'll come back for the championship game in the middle of May. We'll get you out to the game soon enough, but first there is an urgent announcement to be made regarding the entire Beagle Sports Network. Beginning after tonight, we will be shifting away from the weekly series model and is instead focusing on bigger events throughout the entire world. This applies to Tuesday Night Baseball, this applies to Universe Mode, which has now been canceled, and this applies to Major League Soccer, which will not be returning on April 27th. Many thanks for your continued support of the network, and now let's go to Lumen Field in Seattle for the final game of the 2023 XFL regular season. And here we go, the regular season of the XFL coming to an end. The Las Vegas Vipers taking on the Seattle Sea Dragons. We are live this evening from Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. And once again, we want to thank you for your continued support. A new era will soon begin. And I think it's going to be even better than the last. Pocket out of the end zone. And past the 20, past the 25. Now up to the 35 and the 40. And quite the start to this game. He goes out of bounds. But where? Wh whoops. Wrong button. They will be starting from the 46, I believe. Karras hands off to Ryan, who immediately goes down a swarm of defense there and that's going to be a loss of three yards as we get this game started the final game of the regular season and quite the scramble there ball goes out of bounds incomplete to bring up a third down and 13 Kara steps back to pass and continues to step back. And away it goes. Pass is caught by Anthony. And he will go down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seattle gaining a first down there. They're at the 29 right now. And Karras stepping back to pass. First and 10. Pass is caught, but the receiver... Immediately taken down at the 13. It's number 8, Lamp. Moving the Sea Dragons up the field. Close to the end zone. Karras stepping back. And that will be a touchdown for the home team. Smith, number 14, with the catch. And we will view this replay. And you know what? We'll go advanced. Super slow motion because I want to see what exactly happened here. He gets the ball. And even as he comes down, bit of a spear there. Whoops. Bit of a spear on the tackle. If you will if you will allow me to use some pro wrestling terminology. And it's seven nothing for the Seattle Sea Dragons. Home team taking the lead here in week 10 of the XFL. And now Las Vegas will get the ball for the first time. We'll see what they can do. And Godwin from the 5. The 20, the 25, and taken down at around the 28. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Arochu stepping back. The first pass of the game, and it is caught, I believe. Bit of a pile here, but Smith, number 78, still coming up with the ball. As the first quarter gets closer to its end, Arochu, number one, stepping back, and now deflected to make it second down. And this will most likely be the last play of the quarter. 
Pass is caught. And McManus with the final reception of the first quarter. 7-0 in favor of the Seattle Sea Dragons this evening at Lumen Field. Of course, we are across the street from the home of the Seattle Mariners. And while Tuesday night baseball is ending, it doesn't mean the end of all baseball. And as I say that, Quinn with the catch, the interception, I should say. And uh, again, preoccupied with baseball. The advertisements always come at the most inappropriate times as Karras hands off to Costin for a gain of two. Up to the 38 now, a gain of one, my apologies. There's the snap. And Karras will fire it away now. Interception! Las Vegas getting the ball. Campbell, to be specific, to be precise. And now a chance, another chance for the Vipers to tie things up. They will start at the 49. Arochu. Found a receiver. He had it for a moment, but dropping it with the tackle. And now second and ten. Arochu stepping back. Pass is caught. And Reeves Maben leading Vegas up the field even farther. There's the snap. And away it goes. Interception. We have seen chaos throughout this XFL season. And that can be attributed to the fact that we are using football simulator. That's yet another interception in this, in just this quarter. I don't think we had much. I don't think we had many in the first quarter, but the second quarter has been full of interceptions. As Karras fires it away, and there's another interception. Spear to the back from the defense. The Las Vegas getting the ball back. Well, from the offense up until Seattle had the ball. And now Arojo drops it. And a dead ball, I suppose. Second and ten, but uh, nobody coming in to recover that fumble. Second and ten, under a minute. Arocho will fire it away at another interception. This is insane. Unbelievable. A lot of action in this game. If you like action, you came to the right place. Karras will fire it away. Is that another one? That might be another one. No, it's not. Looks like it at the start, but Seattle keeping the ball. I don't know how many interceptions there have been. And I know I don't know who has it right now, but it is Seattle. After the uh, pile. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter and the last play of the half. Karras will be hoping to go big. And one more. Preserving the half with that uh, incomplete. And it doesn't matter that much, but with a 7 nothing lead, but you may as well go all out. All out. Or not. Hand off to Ryan. Puts an end to the second quarter. 7 nothing at halftime in favor of the Seattle Sea Dragons. And now, here we go. Robinson stepping back for the kick. And a lot of interceptions in that second quarter. I wonder if we'll see the same in this third quarter. Godwin coming out now for the return. He gets up to the 22 before being taken down. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Once again, Arochu steps back. And away it goes. Pass is caught by Reeves Maven, number two, to keep the ball with Las Vegas. Because you never know. You never know when there's going to be an, inter an interception. As Arochu goes down. Still a catch made by Smith. And Vegas keeping the ball second and five. Here in the third quarter. 
Got to be mindful of time. And I'm not sure if we've ever gone to overtime in the XFL in our coverage. Maybe we'll have that tonight. What a way it would be to end the regular season. Vegas hoping to tie it up, of course, before that can happen. But just I'm just floating it out there as a hypothetical. As it's now second and ten for the away team. As Adeochu steps back. Waits for quite a while. Fires it away. And it's Wilkinson. Wilkinson coming up with the ball for Las Vegas. What a pass. What a first down. And now, just about 11 yards, 12 yards from the end zone. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Vipers. 7-6 to six as we take a look at the replay this time. Pulls the ball out, hoping to uh, go for a run play. And then we'll go to the advanced. And quite a scramble for the ball. But it goes to the guy in the back. Number 79, Sha Shaquille. Giving the Vipers their first touchdown of this game. And perhaps the only one, you never know, with the amount of interceptions that we've seen here tonight. And Nick will step back to kick. Out of the end zone goes Puckett once again. He had quite a return to kick off the game, but now only gets up to the 21. The 22 in between. First and 10. Karras fires it away and the pass is caught. First down but just barely there for Seattle. Karras hands off to Ryan immediately and he goes down. And now this will most likely be the last play of the third quarter. Away it goes, and the pass is caught to take us to quarter number four. Seven to seven as we come into the fourth quarter. This is setting us up for an all-time great finish to the 2023 XFL season. And this may be, oh, interception. I was gonna say this may be the most successful iteration of the XFL there has been, but when you look at the uh, ratings at the start of the 2001 season, of course, many of us know of the downfall, but it started out promising. Pass is caught by Josh. Number 75. As time keeps running. Head, head. Ticking down on this regular season. It's been a long road down this valley. Pass is caught by somebody. I'm not sure by who. So we'll go to the advanced on this one. Right now. And super slow-mo. We'll say... And it seems to be... Oh, this is... How do I go down? I still haven't figured it out after... Seven, eight weeks. Here we go. Who's got it? It's... It's number 22, Luke. For Las Vegas. That's very interesting. The Vipers keep the ball. As we come up to the two-minute mark in this game. Or... Two minute warning it would be if that was a feature in Football Simulator. And this one goes into the stands. Second and ten for Las Vegas. Otto two steps back to pass. Once more. Caught. Around the ten. And Xavier 
moving his team closer to the end zone. Cut. Hoping for a win to cap off the season, and even if they do go to fourth down, it's all about time here. Not necessarily about getting in the end zone, but with the Sea Dragons, they've got to run down the clock and make sure there's overtime as Adaocha gets sacked. And that'll take us to third down. Third and 17. And if you can prolong a play for 50 seconds, it's not going to be possible. Adaocha into the end zone and Vegas taking the lead. Wilkinson with the catch. And now it's crunch time. If you are the Sea Dragons, I apologize if I sound a bit biased. I won't make you sit through the replay on that one. Because we've got action to go to. I apologize if I sound a bit biased. I'm not. I'm just stating the facts that 37 seconds. If there's going to be a wild finish, it's going to be very wild indeed. But I think the winner is clear. Las Vegas capping off the season with a victory over the Sea Dragons. 22 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Karras, oh, does a backflip or something. I'm not entirely sure, but the pass is incomplete. We'll go to the replay for at least the first part of this. What is that? You've just got to love Football Simulator. 14 seconds. There's the snap. Karras fires it away. Interception. And with that, Las Vegas taking the win. What a game. And this last play, merely a formality. Unless we see a pick six. But we will not. The final score in the final game of the, rec of the regular season, Las Vegas 14, Seattle 7. And with that, the new era begins. We thank you for tuning in during this regular season, and we thank you for your continued support of the Beagle Sports Network. Good night.